Starbucks is among the 6,000 or so international companies doing business in China. The coffee giant wants to get Chinese citizens to switch from sipping tea to guzzling coffee and has plans to have 9,000 stores here by 2025. You would think it would be easy to find a seat in such a cavernous building, but think again. And there are lots of people just buying gifts. So here we have a little um, grinder. If I want to grind just like a, a quick one for an espresso, just throw the beans in there. Only 700 yuan, which is about 100 bucks, a lot of money. But many can't walk away without some kind of souvenir. And it's stuff like this that helps Starbucks go up 5% in year-on-year -year sales in China. So I just cannot believe how big this is. There, there cannot be a bigger Starbucks than what I just walked in and out of. And it's absolutely amazing, and it's full of people. You know, you go into one in the U.S. and it's, it's a little side shop. This is like a mall of coffee. I mean, you, plenty of gifts to get. 68 yuan, a little bit of ice cream, the nitro brew, ice cold, you know? It was worth the wait. Sean Cadlebs, CGTN in Shanghai.